Hi, my name is Krista and I'm going to be showing you around. I know all about Smart Water Starts With You and I hope you learn more about that too and start to think about how water is an amazing resource that we have to look after. Water is a limited resource that we often take for granted here in New Zealand. You turn on the tap and clean healthy water comes out every time. Because we are so used to water on tap, we often don't think about water as a valuable resource that needs treatment before it's safe to drink and use. Sometimes we use water without really thinking about it. Globally, the situation is really different for communities in other countries. One in every eight people in the world lack access to clean water. In some places, that is because of not enough rain. But sometimes, it's because of a lack of infrastructure to get the water to the people. 97% of all the water on the whole earth is stored as salt water in the world's oceans. Only 3% of the total water on earth is fresh water. Unfortunately, not all fresh water is easy to get to. The easy stuff is in the lakes, rivers and wetlands. This is called surface water. The only problem is surface water makes up less than 1% of the fresh water on Earth. Most fresh water is in places that are very hard to get to if you wanted to fill your drink bottle. Some is underground, most is in ice caps and glaciers, and a tiny bit is flying around as water vapour. Here in the Waikato, each person uses around 250 litres every day. That's this many milk bottles. Look around your group. Can you guess how many bottles of water you would all use each day? Now imagine how much water your whole school uses, how much your town uses. Water starts to be a very big deal. If you are on the Piped Council Water Network, all the water we use at home comes from a water treatment plant. Unless you have a rainwater tank or a bore, the water you clean your car with, water your garden or lawn, comes from your local water treatment plant. Would you agree that it's a valuable resource? Can you think of ways to reuse water at home? This is the estimate of how water is used at home. The amount we drink is really small, just part of that 11% for water in the kitchen. So when we think about being smart with our water, we need to make changes where we use the most water. Hi, I'm Jaden, and I'm gonna show you a couple of ways that we can be smart with our water. The biggest water user in our house is the shower. I catch the water while the shower's running up in a bendy bucket. It catches heaps because it's got a wide mouth. And then I can carry it outside pretty easy without spilling it because it's got handles. Can you have a shorter shower? Every minute in the shower is about 14 litres of water, so I try to be as quick as I can in the shower. Stacking the dishwasher is my job. Do you do it too? To be smart with our water, I wait until it's totally full before setting it going. I also use the eco setting. When I scrub and peel our veggies, I use a tub with a little bit of water. I don't let the tap run. I also can put the water on the lawn or the garden to reuse it. All these things really add up and make a difference. In schools, we can make a big difference if we all use the correct half or full flush on the toilet and turning taps right off are great ways to save water. Check out smartwater.org.nz for more ideas on how to take action.